Hi there, welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into the world of Gemini AI and Flutter. In this video, I will talk you step by step how to build the ultimate Gemini AI and Flutter. So let's not waste any time and jump right into it. So I just drew a simple home screen inside the material app and inside the home screen I just created a simple design of a bar and uh, inside the body I created a text field and I can button here is a simple text field. So after that you just need to use the Google Generative AI inside your Prospect.yml and update it. After that, you just need to create a, an object of a generative AI model. So it have to it requires two property. So the first one is both are used as a string. So first you need to create your API key. So go here and click on this. You will see a page where you can create your API key. So I just I just use my own API key. You just need to use your own. First you need to create it. So I created a list of map where I will use the responses of my of the Gemini AI. So we will create a method which we call for calling the generative, oh sorry, Gemini AI. So let's use it to bottom to look perfect. Uh, it inside the try method so use async keyword to allow the await so here we will pass the text upon which the Gemini AI will respond so we will add uh, this response so okay so it is a map so um, that's why we will use and we will add a map to the AI chat list so here we will call that uh, function whenever we click on this button so it will call if the text field is uh, empty so it will not do anything else if it can uh, if contain something text so it will call the generative the uh, AI response method so here it will return a column inside the children it contain a text and size works for creating a space so what is in a server I don't know why but uh, allow me in solid So you can see that uh, the response is now displaying. Why it is not? Okay, so use item count is aihr.lin. So the error is removed. Now let's try another response. You can see it, uh, it is working perfect, but uh, now we will uh, make it to look perfect and better. So 
here I just create it another dot file for that text to look this up. so I will require a text in is a, a bool is user area and I will return a line widget if it is user so the alignment the text will be display from the right side and when and if the it is not the user so the text will be displayed in the left side after that we will use a column widget uh, so here you will call so here you will uh, create an object of their class and pass these two arguments so now we will use the container inside the container we will use the text of and we will use some properties of the container to look good so we are just decorating the container and adding some margin and padding so after that I will use padding so it shaded off let's ok now it's look something better now I will use the padding. Okay, perfect. Now let's just decorate. Uh, and if it is user, then the color will be indigo. And uh, if it is not user, then okay, not perfect. Border radius will be circular. Okay. So to look uh, to make it more better, so just use that Flutter Markdown plugin inside your Perfect.yml uh, and update it, and use that uh, widget Markdown. In the data will be text. It requires data of uh, string. Okay, so not the string, but we'll we will use some property here I don't know why it is not displaying the text but uh, just uh, stay with me we will make it better okay just use uh, that body with markdown and cross axis alignment and start so now it's looking fine and you can see it is also selectable that is it's selectable so if it is user then we will just uh, use a row we, we, we will use the icons one for copy copying the text ok and the second one is uh, to unlike the response fine now we will decrease the, space, the size of these icon and uh, we will use the space inside the and now it's look fine so just wrap uh, the copy icon with the inkwell and use the clipboard dot clipboard data sorry clipboard dot set data so clipboard and the text will be text so it will copy okay now it is copying the text okay it is working fine 
so just to look better we will use a for messenger dot r context dot show snake bar we will use a snake bar at the bottom whenever the text is copied so copy to clipboard copy to clipboard so you can see this look fine but we will decrease the duration of that uh, bar. so displaying a loading animation while the response is loading so we will use a bool for loading if it is loading if for the loading is true so just okay use the plugin inside the config.py email spin kit three bounds okay and if it, if the loading is false then use size box size box means here it will not display anything so the color of the animation will be indigo so why it is not okay so we did not call so here we will uh, assign the true and we will use the set thread to rebuild the widget tree and it will display the loading animation while it is loading okay amazing you can see it is look fine now Here it is, look perfect. Just use the shadows to look fine. So, add on to to close the keyboard when we press the icon button so we will just use focus pop dot up context dot unspoke so you can see the keyboard is closing while we press the icon button so no. we will use a controller for scroll scrolling down whenever a new response is generated so dot uh, animate to so it needs pro for properties so here you will use a scroll control controller dot position dot next scroll extent and here we will assign a decoration of in some millisecond and arrow start dot out is out okay so whenever a new response is generated and displayed it will scroll down automatically to the bottom okay just use the scroll controller here inside the list view dot separated the controller will be the scroll controller we, which we assigned which we created okay just try and uh, try it it is work or not is it work or not? so you can see it navigate to the bottom automatically so now we will cl clear the controller the response is generated
so here I will uh, we will use a regenerate response to look much better so if it is not loading uh, sorry if it is loading sorry what I am saying if it is not loading uh, and uh, there is a minimum one response in our UI then it will display the container which contains regenerate response text and it will regenerate the same sorry the previous response so just wait for the container it will be 30 and the color will be an eco so you can see it look perfect now just use the white color and use text regenerate response with the white color color dot white is to find and the main async time will be center okay looks fine now whenever we tap on that the response will need to be regenerate on tap use on tap property and use function the loading will be true whenever we tap on that and it will call the AI response with the previous formed and there you have add forms we have successfully created our Gemini AI and Flutter app development from scratch I hope you find this tutorial helpful and that you are excited as I am about the endless possibilities of AI and Flutter if you have really enjoyed this video don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel please for more exciting tutorial like this one also feel free to leave any question or suggestion in the comment section below thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video thanks